Hello folks, my name is Stally111 and today I'm going to be talking about one of the best consoles of my lifetime, the PlayStation 1. I've compiled a list of my top 5 game franchises within the PlayStation 1, let's see if you agree. Remember this is my opinion, please do not take any offence, but do tell me your top 5 in the comments below. Number 5. Metal Gear Solid. This was a toughie, as I'm not that big on stealthy games myself, but I did enjoy this to an extent when playing it. It did bring a certain oomph to the PlayStation 1 and also the stealth genre. It may have been placed higher if I had been more of a stealthy child. Number 4. Silent Hill. Again, a very difficult one to place, and I was sceptical on which to put 4th or 5th. I've never really enjoyed horror, whether it be films or games, but I did play Silent Hill and I did feel like the game developers did a great job of creating a well-fitting atmosphere. Number 3. Final Fantasy. This one I can see annoying some people, but to be honest I didn't find Final Fantasy 7 or what I've played of it living quite up to the hype, and the others were on the same boat. But maybe I just need to give them another try and become a little bit more immersed in the worlds. Maybe then I could push the series up a little. Number 2. Spyro. This one was easy to pop in. Coming from one of my favourite developers, Insomniac, comes this epic 3D platformer that you can control, Spyro, the freaking dragon. I mean, what kid who likes video games doesn't like fire breathing dragons? I sometimes find the stories short, like with all PS1 games, but they are all well executed. It was more about the gameplay and graphics for back then, and it definitely felt like a spruce up from other games. Here are some honourable mentions before we get to the top spot. Resident Evil, Castlevania, and Tomb Raider. And finally, number one, Crash Bandicoot. You guys could have probably guessed this from the get go that this would make to the top. The original was one of the first video games I owned and I played the series to bits, mainly due to my dysfunctional memory card, but that's not the point. The mostly silent protagonist is always nostalgic to see, well, at least for me. And I'm hoping the rumours are true and a reboot or a long awaited sequel is on the way. Thanks for watching, this list was my opinion and mostly from how much I enjoyed them when I played the PlayStation 1 on a regular basis. Please do tell me your top 5, does it contain the same games in a different order or is mine completely different to yours? Drop it in a comment down below. My name is Stally111 and drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe if you've not done so already. Tell me what top 5 I should do next. See ya!